Alright, well a lot of people are getting confused about my uh, recording setup because of the uh, condenser mic and with the, the phantom power and everything. People just don't really get it, you know? So what I've got here, this is my awful messy room that I'm working on cleaning. But uh, yeah. So what we've got here is this amp that doesn't work anymore. The uh, purple one. So I'm using it as a mic stand for my uh, condenser mic, uh, which is about, I'd say four or five inches away from the uh, speaker on my guitar bass amp that I uh, painted together. So pretty much you just plug your guitar into the amp like you would, you know, any other amp. Um, I don't have anything on me right now. They are But it is, uh, it's too early in the morning to get them out. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning and I have school tomorrow, so I don't really want to wake everyone up. But I can't go to sleep, so I said, uh, whatever, I'll record this video. So, um, yeah, so we've got the microphone right here. we got a uh, XLR cable, this blue one right here, it's easy to follow, into the input part of this uh, preamp right here. Uh, this is just for the mic. The guitar sound doesn't go in here at all. It is the uh, Studio V3 Art Tube Amp. I love this thing. This is the greatest thing ever. Uh, these are the settings that work best for me. Obviously, you want to have the uh, Phantom Power switch down, which means on. I don't use the other two. Um, right now, I have it set to electric guitar. Sometimes, I'll wind it down and go to bass, wind it down two more, and go to vocal, but usually I keep it on electric guitar. Um, from here we've got the power, because it's a just 9 volt regular thing, I'm going to plug it into the outlet over there. Um, wait, let me talk about my mic stand really quickly, this is a gooseneck mic stand holding up the uh, MXL 990 condenser microphone, and on the base of this I've got my uh, pop filter which I'm not using right now obviously because it's hooked up to the uh, well it's not hooked up but it's recording the guitar amp so back to here with the uh, the output I've got this right here which is the uh, fourth inch uh, jack hooked up to the, like little converter to the 3.5 millimeter one um, See, I like this though, because it has both types of outputs and input. So anyway, I hook this up. And then these are connected to my uh, my headphones right here. So I can, you know, listen to everything I'm playing right off the bat, you know. And then, uh, so, so from here, we've got the output. And it's this huge-ass XLR cable that goes all the way through here to my USB port. So I'm using this as a USB microphone. Um, that's how you set it up in Windows. Um, this is my computer. I'm not really doing anything on it. <laughs> I just turned it on. Um, usually I record to a USB drive. I think this one, yeah, this one's only 8 gig. I've got a 32 gig one that I keep most of my stuff on. But, uh, yeah, oh yeah, and then the, uh, most important part right here from the output of my computer so when I'm done you know recording and what I will uh, mix through and everything um, so this is the headphone port of my computer I've got this cable right here which I seem to have just pulled out but it's a uh, 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable that let's see if I jump over these wires here that plugs into my amp for my speakers uh, this is pretty much just my stereo but it has two RCA inputs this is actually a, uh, a car amplifier but I hooked it up to work with these two huge RCA speakers and one little Sony speaker that came with that stereo but I don't use that stereo well I use it to charge my iPod but that's about it so this uses a uh, computer power supply 
that you can hear it just buzzes a lot because of the fans. So it's got that annoying buzz like if I turn it off. Yeah. Can't hear anything anymore. But I really like this thing. It glows. It's the Power Acoustic Fire and Ice. And uh, it has this cool like bass boost preamp thing that if I want to piss off all my neighbors I turn on and it uh I've got two huge subs in each cabinet here um, and then we've got a mid and then a tweeter let's back on here. I painted the cabinets purple because I didn't like the uh, 70s esque fake wood but uh Yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much my recording setup right there. I uh, Sometimes I'll hook up pedals and stuff, but I don't really have that many outlets over here, so I can't really plug that many things in. Um, I've got the, uh, I think it's like Squire something. Uh, let's see. This one actually broke on me the day I got it. I don't even remember what it was. It looks like a... Um, I don't even know. Maybe, maybe a reverb? I think. I don't know. I know it was like Fender or something or other. But yeah, the stomp box crapped out on me the day I got it. Which sucks because I got it for my birthday. But whatever. Um, that's my bass I'm working on. That's the uh, amplifier to this cabinet right here that hasn't worked in ages. Um, yeah, so for recommendations, I guess I would highly, highly recommend that, uh, MXL 990 microphone right there. Let me grab it. It's hard to undo an XLR with one hand. Alright, I'm putting on the camera. really really heavy but it's good um, it's got like gold diaphragm something or other I don't know I like it it's a pretty sturdy uh, system here it's really like obnoxiously heavy towards the bottom um, which it does weigh down this gooseneck stand quite a bit which is why I have it pinned under the uh, strap for my other amp. Um, but yeah, it comes in this nifty, uh, let me get my headphones out of the way, which I would also recommend. They're V-Moto Crossfade LP, not the LP2. I've heard that those are not as good, and I think they're a lot more money anyway. Crap, I'm putting this case open. There you go. So let's see, it comes in this nice case. Um, Microphone goes on there, and then if I can undo it quick, ugh, it's taking longer than I thought it would. Oh, let's see. I don't know. This goes in there somehow. Maybe just bend it. There we go. Right, so that goes in there. Um, this black part you don't really use if you use the included shock mount. So I just have it on anyway because it prevents the bottom part of it from falling off. Because the... Uh... Oh, that sounds terrible. See the entire bottom part of this? Just uh, screws off right here. This is where all the weight is in this bottom part right there. Um, I've had to take this off a few times because the uh, this metal sort of ring has gotten all warped somehow. But there you go. In case you were thinking about buying one and wanted to see what the inside of it looked like first, there you go. My camera's not really getting it, but whatever. Is the uh, Diaphragm again. 
or the uh, I guess actual microphone. I don't know what the hell it's called. Whatever. Um, yeah, I've also got these. These highly recommend these for anybody ever. They are so durable. They've got like the, I mean they're just cool. I love these headphones so much. They're not they're they're like flashy but not like obnoxious. Uh, oh look, I can see myself. <laughs> but um, highly 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 recommend these. Uh, they're great. They uh, the wire it comes with the uh, cable. Actually, this adapter was the included one too. But it's a uh, comes with two cords like the Beats do. But I don't even compare these to Beats because Beats are just gimmicky. They're terrible. These actually sound good. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, apparently it's Kevlar, which I thought was interesting. It's like woven. Kevlar fabric. Um, those are pretty good. Let's see if I can. See, I bring them. This is my backpack for school. They come in this nice case. Uh, kind of bulky. Whatever. Oh, here's a nice little piece of audio equipment. See if we can plug this in quick. Right. So we've got the FIO headphone amplifier. There we go. It's on. Uh, it's four different equalizers. Uh, you got bass boost, mid boost, uh, a oh shit, volume decreaser thingy, and then flat. Um, but I bought it in a package that came with this L cable thing. It's the 30 pin connector to a 3.5 millimeter. It gets you better uh, better audio quality, I guess. Which I plug into my iPod Classic in its very feminine red case. But, uh, yeah. This thing, I think it ran me back like 40 bucks. Totally worth it. The, uh,. Headphones, the V Moda crossfades, they ran me back like, oh shit, I, it was some weird number. I think it was 112 on uh, on Amazon. And they're really just, oh my god, go out and get a pair of these. They're so nice. Um, come in this nice like red lined, freaking alien skin case thing. You see, it's got V Moda on it. Uh, that's nice. The, uh, MXL 990, I think, that, um, Sweetwater actually had a deal, um, in their catalog, because I get their catalogs, because I love those guys, those guys are rock, um, and I think it was, like, $69 or something to get this microphone, um, of course it is a condenser mic and you will need a amplifier that has the 48 volts of phantom power to power it but it's, it's totally worth going out and getting something because this microphone sounds phenomenal um yeah i forgot to say this is the shock mount i don't really use it because it just adds more weight and i have trouble as it is already but uh yeah the microphone just uh slips into there you got that cool, you know, studio-y kind of condenser microphone shock mount thing going on. Which I think it looks pretty badass. I just don't really use it because it's just heavy. And I'm not, you know, I don't have Parkinson's. I'm not shaking around that much. So, oh, shit. Well, whatever. Um, so it's not like it's going to break or anything. But yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's all of my audio equipment uh, that I have lying around. I might do a guitar kind of thing later because I've been working on a uh, Stratocaster, a uh, that Starry Night kind of looking P bass. I've got a uh, Telecaster Deluxe I'm working on, um, which I love those guitars because my favorite 
um, musician plays one. That was uh, Justin Peer of Motion City Soundtrack. Uh, he plays the uh, the red and black one, and I think that's a pretty cool guitar. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about everything I have, uh, audio equipment wise. I would definitely recommend. I got a. Uh, it it said it was three meters long, but apparently it turned out it was three feet long, which kind of sucks. So I would definitely get a really long XLR cable. Um, I don't know. Invest in a better amp than I have. My amp's pretty shitty. Um, I would definitely look into getting that whole car amplifier home studio setup thing. Because that was pretty cheap. I think that I, I bought the amp used on eBay for like... I think it was like 20 bucks or something. And I had that computer power supply in that... Uh, computer down there so I, I use that computer for like storage and stuff for other you know files or whatever um, yeah so again my pod classic I think this one this one's the 120 gig it's not the 160 but you know a lot of storage I have a lot of music um, I use audacity to record things because I'm fucking cheap and I can't afford anything else uh, plus it works for what I need it to all I really do is you know crop anyway I don't really layer or well I, I mean yeah I layer but I don't really use effects or anything so audacity is just fine for that um, let's see yeah, I think that is literally everything I can cover about my set up in this video so i guess catch you later guys peace